Hello everyone, it is Sukhas with Sukraft, and welcome back to the Kerbal Murder Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> uh, these poor Kerbals have no idea what they're in for. Alright, now I have completely redone, kind of redone, not really completely, but I really rejiggered my ship a lot here. So, I changed my uh, struts here to get them out of the way of these fins that I've added. I'm hoping that will uh, help with my stability issues when I'm at making that uh, 90 degree. 45 degree, 90 degree heading turn at uh, 10,000 meters. So, uh, fingers crossed, hoping that uh, will help some with there. Um, I've added it probably superfluously, but I added an extra stage to it here. So, uh, these five will fire and then drop off, and then I have one here with a big uh, tank, and then um, I have a final stage here with, with a smaller tank and the smaller engine, and I put the more powerful one here. So I'm hoping this uh, three-stage approach will help. And I got my stability control thing, a decoupler here. And just because I'm thinking once I get this whole going into orbit and coming back thing down pat, I think my next objective is going to be sending a pod up, keeping it in orbit, and then sending a second one up to dock with it. Uh, kind of just following NASA's, you know, real schedule that they did. So... I'm gonna, you know, try that next, so I figured I might as well, at this point, go ahead and put that, uh, docking port at the top here that I saw in the list of items. So I put this, uh, Clampatron Jr. on. <laughs> the Clampatron Jr. Yeah, some of these names are so cutesy. Um, and because I had to remove the parachute from there, I put on these radial side-mounted parachutes, and I put them on a double symmetry. I don't know if I really need two of them. I don't know. Maybe I only need one. Maybe it's going to get in the way of the hatch. I don't know. We'll play it by ear and see. I suppose I can just take it down to one and put it on the back side if, if need be. But, um, yeah. So, so that's where we're at. Um, I think we're done. I saved it. Um, a little bit too high for the ground? Meh. Budget. That's the cool thing about these, uh, dock release things. Um, you can set it up off the ground so they're not touching the ground. I think might help uh, a bit, especially with, with the larger rockets, with the uh, stability of it. I think that's going to help. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go take this out now. So, Fingers crossed, I hope I got all the stages set properly. Either this is going to be magnificent or a hilarious catastrophic failure, one or the other. And of course, there's already debris. <laughs> oh my, okay. Clear the launch pad of the last failure. <laughs> Alrighty, and Mr. Jebediah will be our pilot again. Oh my, he's looking pretty concerned after the last couple of uh, catastrophic errors I've made. Alright, so, this, um, we're doing it right. And, uh, SAS on, throttle to max, uh, turn resource meter on, and three, two, one. Blast off! Yes! Success! Thus far. Right. Good. Right, when we get to 150-ish, we're gonna throttle back some. Okay. Throttle them back, throttle them back. Okay, we're still climbing. Good, good. Keep that drag down. At least that's what I've heard. Okay, keep that drag down. Let's just ride it out here. Looking good on the fuel. 5,000. We're tipping over to the side, so I don't know how to stop that. Maybe we should just roll with it. Okay. Um, we're getting close. Oh my. Alright, SAS off. Throttle up. And let's make our turn. Oh god, that's not the turn I wanted to make. Um, all sideways here. What am I doing? Oh god, no, don't. No, no, don't do that! What are you doing? Stop! Okay. And heading... There. Alright, and bust off. Okay. RCS back on. And throttle up. Oh god, what is it doing? Why is it going wonky? What are you doing? Stop that! No, stop that! I have no idea what's doing that. Turn back around. Go up, 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 damn you! Ah! What are you?
you doing? Yeah. You're fudging it. You're fudging it bad. Stop. Stop spinning. Okay, I think that extra um weight at the top has screwed me up. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So, yeah, we're not going to make it into space this time, Jebediah. He seems to be pretty happy about it, though. He's okay. He's doing good. All right, I can't. Yeah, I can't get that nose up. I put too much weight on it. I'm gonna take that docking clamp off. I was afraid of that happening. Oh, oh! Can we get it up? Okay, that didn't sound right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't stabilize it. It's too much weight. Maybe those parachutes. I should have only had one. All right, dislodge and shoot. Shoot! Shoot! Damn you! Oh God, no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. No, what are you doing? Alright, this isn't working. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, and disengage. Oh god, why is it not disengaging? Oh no! <laughs> we might be killing Jebediah here. I think Jebediah is going to die. The, it's not, it's not disengaging. Do I have the clamp on there right? Yes, it just did not disengage. I think, oh man, I hope it messed that up bad. Alright, and it's not stopping. I, I'm not throttled up. I'm throttled down and it's still shooting out. I clearly messed this up. We're in an uncontrollable spin. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, come on. Work with me. I'll go that way. No. Yes, that way. Okay, good. Hey, we're heading in the right direction now. Imagine that. But it is a bit too late. I have no idea why it's still shooting. I should be disengaged. There it goes. Now it disengages. Good lord. Good lord. How dare you, sir. All right. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't think the parachute will deploy. I think it's messed up. I think it got damaged or something in the takeoff. <laughs> I don't think these types of parachutes are meant for this type of capsule. I don't know. Don't know at all. Where are we at here? Okay, we're gonna splash down the water over there apparently. So let's get to it. Um, throw it down and crank it up. Alright. Yeah. Okay, I know. Thank you. Well, yeah, that was a catastrophic failure. Man, well, not really catastrophic failure. It's just design error. I think I had too much weight in the top end. So I'm going to take that docking clamp off. I think I'm just going to go back to the system I had before. There we go. Now we're deploying the parachutes. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. It gets wonky when you've got high time warp. Alright, so we're not killing Jebediah. We're not killing Jebediah at all. Good to know. Hopefully. Those don't shear off. Okay. Let's crank it back up. <laughs> yeah, as many Kerbman that I killed earlier. I really want Jebediah to survive. I don't want him to be another casualty. Oh man, I thought he was gonna be. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. I'm gonna float User softly to the ground. Timed out. Awesome. Awesome way to screw up the fraps there, Rue. <laughs> User entered your channel. Awesome. Alright, well I think that's the end of this flight. As long as he splashes down safely. It should be be okay. And we will try again next time. So, if you did enjoy my hilarious failure, <laughs> click on that thumbs up down there is much appreciated. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Till next time though, this is Sukas and Jebediah signing off. Have a good one. <laughs>